Recovering Abandoning Visitors with Remarketing in 2019 and 2020. One of the most painful challenges a complete internet marketer faces is losing visitors and leads. The good news is that remarketing is a crucial strategy to implement on any complete internet marketing plan. What is remarketing in 2019 and 2020? Remarketing is a complete internet marketing strategy intended to recover abandoning website visitors and leads. Remarketing works by tracking visitors leaving a website to other websites they visit, where they're served ads, promoting the website that they abandoned. Today, we are going to show you how to easily implement remarketing into your complete internet marketing mix. In this lesson, we are going to use the Facebook remarketing platform. By choosing the Facebook remarketing platform, we will be able to reach abandoning website visitors right in their Facebook timelines. Let's get started. Generating a remarketing code. Like we said, remarketing works by tracking abandoning visitors from the original website they abandoned to the websites they visit during the same session. To track website visitors from one site to another, remarketing platforms install retargeting codes on the websites that they remarket. The Facebook tracking code is called a retargeting pixel, and you can create yours from the Ads Manager. Start by going to facebook.com forward slash ads forward slash manager while logged in to your Facebook account. Click on the menu icon on the top left, and then click on the Pixels option under Measure and Report. Once on the Events Manager page, click on Add New Data Source, and then on the Facebook Pixel option to open the Create a Facebook Pixel window. Now, enter a name for your new retargeting pixel in the Pixel Name field and then click on Create. Your Facebook retargeting pixel is ready, and now you have to install it on your website. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to install the Facebook pixel manually, so click on the Manually Install the Code Yourself option to continue to the next step. Installing the remarketing code on your website. Now find your Facebook pixel code in this new window and click on it to copy it to your clipboard. You have to paste this code between the less than head greater than and less than forward slash head greater than tags of your website code before you are able to create your first remarketing campaign. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to install it manually on a WordPress website. Go to your WordPress site's dashboard, move over the appearance tab on the left hand menu and click on the theme editor option. Now go to the theme files menu on the right and locate theme header. Click on Theme Header to access the header section of your website code. Paste your remarketing code between the less than head greater than and less than forward slash head greater than tags, and then click on Update File. Now go back to Facebook, enter the URL of your website in the Enter the URL for this website field, and click on the Send Test Traffic button. Now confirm that Test Traffic is active. If Test Traffic is active, it means that you've successfully installed the code on your website, and you can now click on Continue. Next up, you have to add the events you'd like to track. To track and recover abandoning visitors, you have to activate the View Content event. Now copy the event code generated below and go back to the header section of your website's code. Paste the event code right below the less than forward slash head greater than tag and click on the Update File button. Then go back to Facebook and click on Done. Setting up a remarketing campaign on Facebook. Now you can create your first remarketing campaign on Facebook. Go to the Campaign Creation page in the Ads Manager and select the Conversions Objective. Enter a name for your new remarketing campaign in the Campaign Name field below. Then click on Set Up Ad Account. Now select your account country, your currency, and your time zone. Then click on Continue. Now you have to create the ad set for this campaign. First, enter a name for your new ad set in the Ad Set Name field. Now go to the Conversion section. Here select Website. Click on the Conversion Event box and select View Content. Next, you have to define your target audience. In this example, we are going to select the saved audience that we targeted with the previous campaign. To select the saved audience, click on the Use a Saved Audience tab and select the saved audience from the menu. Next, you have to define how much you are going to spend in the budget and schedule section. Select your budget type, enter the amount you are going to spend, and select the schedule. 
You can click on continue after you enter all the information required here. Now it is time to create the ad for your new remarketing campaign. First, enter a name for your new ad in the ad name field. When you create ad campaigns on Facebook, you can use existing page posts as ads. In this example, we are going to select and promote an existing post from one of our Facebook pages. To use an existing page post as an ad, click on the Facebook page menu inside the identity section. Select the page that you are going to use to represent your business in your ads, and then click on the Use Existing Post tab. Now go to the Creative section and click on Select Post. Now select the page post that you are going to promote and then click on Continue. As you can see, this page post has a shortened URL that links to a content page on your business website. You can now preview your promoted page post in the Ad Preview section. Click on the Confirm button to send your ad for review when you are ready. Your new remarketing ad will be approved to start running in the next 5 to 10 minutes. This is actually the easiest, most effective way to recover abandoned website visitors.